And remember, you, there's lots more prizes to give away today, so stick around and listen. But if you do fall out, we are recording all of these so that you can see them. We're going to go ahead and be, we, like I said, we're running a little bit behind, but we had so many giveaways, I didn't put enough time in for giveaways today. But that's okay. Rather have more than less. We have one final mini tour to, to look around. And you've probably seen them around. You've seen them around the pages or so. We'll go ahead and spotlight John Hicks. And we'll let John just... Uh, John, which one are you under Gary for right now? I, I need just trying to figure out which video to spotlight. There we go. Ah, yes. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Okay, now we've got to unmute you. Oops. You should, you should be able to unmute now. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's because it's under Gary. Oh, here I got it. Oh, you should be now. All right, can you guys hear me now? Yep, there we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, John, sorry that it says Gary on there. That's my kid and... Uh, I forgot his account is on my phone as well. So I was <laughs> trying okay. to switch it for like the last 10 minutes. I was like, I don't want to log out, have them uh, <laughs> switch over to me and me not be here. So yeah, I'm not Gary, but. Nope, not Gary, you're John. But John, why don't you tell everybody where you're from, where you're at right now? Sure. So I live in Canton, Michigan. If you're not from the area, it's a suburb about halfway between Detroit and Ann Arbor. So. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing your collection. And so if you want to show us around. Absolutely. So my Pez room here is also my office. So here's where we come in. And it's mostly Pez in here, but we do have some other stuff too. So here we go. And it is. It's mirrored for some reason. That's weird. All right. We've got... Uh, Lots of minis here. I, we started collecting the Japanese minis. I've had a couple sets for a while, but we really started getting into it a lot this year. Uh, I've got 21 more sets that are not displayed here, just because I need another one of these cases for them. And then above that, uh, this is Pez Outlaw signed memorabilia here. And then we get into some of the common stuff that's out there we got sports i've got a lot of them not all of them i know there's a lot of these out there and then we get into disney more disney stuff and more disney because disney owns just about everything now right mm -hmm. and we get into Marvel and Star Wars, which is also Disney. And then we got lots of common cartoon characters down here that are not Disney. All right. Lots of stuff. These uh, bookshelves from Ikea are fantastic. Uh, I mentioned I live in Canton, Michigan. We've got an Ikea here in Canton. So that's the biggest landmark that's around here is we've got an Ikea. So if you've been to the Ikea in Michigan, that is a mile north of my house. John, what are those grandstands? Are those, uh, what, what kind of grandstands are those? So these are the ones that Jason and Molly Camden make. Uh, I've been really happy with them. I've been buying them from them for I don't know, two years or so now. And we've got a ton of them. You'll see a lot more of them around the room. And I've got a lot of my Pez on those and then some on some other uh, some other types of stands too, but that's that's what I've been buying mostly. Then here we're getting into some of my other favorite stuff. I love the Pez that are non-licensed characters, like the Pez originals, like the pals, and like Bubble Man is my favorite character. You got the heroes and stuff up here, whistles, the Pez mascots. I love all this stuff. So got a lot of them. And then in these cases below, we've got a 
lot of the vintage that I've got. Uh, all the vintage, and then we've got a few other non-footed Pez in here that are non-vintage, like the uh, the hands and eyeballs, the psychedelic flowers, that sort of thing. Those things, I love that stuff. Like I said, all the non-licensed. I was really impressed uh, with Jessica's whole room or hallway or whatever it was with all the giant Pez. And we've got uh, quite a few of them, Not, nothing like that. I mean, and I really don't like these things just because they take up so much room, right? And so I, I get them as gifts. And when I get them as gifts or if I do have some sort of Pez buyout, there's some in there. If, if it's something I don't have, I keep it. But I really don't go out of my way to get these. I think they're really cool. But uh, I really don't try to get them. Then on this table, too, you've got all those weird dispensers from the 90s and early 2000s that are weird licensed stuff that you're not sure how to display, like the cell phones, all these cars, has pets. I mean, there's the watches and necklaces. I've got body parts down here, too. I sort of like the body parts though, those are cool. Uh, somewhere around we've got the guns down here too, I think, I got a couple guns. And getting more into this type of stuff that I like, the non-license, we got more sports up here. And these are what I really like. We've got the Pezzasaurs and the Bugs and the Kooky Zoo, all that. Uh, love these non-licensed pez i love the crystals i think they look really cool i'm glad those are around and some of the unique colors i love a lot of the neon that they put in here going down we've got funky faces all right getting into trucks these truck stands here are made by the camdens as well they're really nice just for showing off uh how the trucks look. Got a couple of those. I'm really starting to get into the trucks a little bit more now. And I heard a couple people earlier today how much they love and hate Hello Kitty. I, I think the dispensers look really cool, but there's just so damn many of them, right? Yeah. I've got I've got most of them. <laughs> Not all the Hello Kitties. I've got most, I think, though. And I think they look really neat. They're cute, but uh there are so many of them, and a lot of them are really similar. So when we get some unique-looking ones, I think that's cool. More kids' cartoon characters and stuff from movies down here. And more trucks. So I don't have a whole lot of vintage trucks, but you can see I've got a couple. A, uh, I've got one B truck. That's it. A couple A, a couple C. And then... Uh, We've got the Joe's trucks and the Misfit trucks in this case over here. I think those look really cool. When I turn off all the lights in here, it looks nice because, you know, half of these ones glow. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of people talking about, you know, test pieces online over the past oh, probably year or so. I got a few. So we've got, you know, Black Santa. I've got a couple of hippos, a witch. I, mean, I love these Bubble Man test pieces. They're really different. Yeah, Pretty cool. cool. Yeah, I like them. And now we're getting into my least favorite dispensers. All these fuzzy guys. I didn't know how to display them, so I just put up a wire and they're all hanging on there. Right in front of the window. And I've got a uh, UV blocking film on the window that's also mirrored. So... Hey, you can see me. Um, it looks like a mirror. That's a window into my backyard, though. So, Oh, all the regular D-series trucks. Got a set of them it's just sitting right there because I didn't have another place to put them. Those are probably the most common trucks, so they get the least fancy display. I think I mentioned this Pez room is also my office, so... I sit here for over 40 hours a week doing work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that red box is where my cat sits next to me while I'm working. I'll reach down and pet her while I'm working sometimes. <laughs> I like that you have a cat box for you. Yeah. she. Well, if I put a box out, she'll sit in it and she doesn't <laughs> knock stuff over, you know, which is great. So she sits in there. I've got this. I, I love this pet lamp. 
Yeah. You know, that makes it yeah. easier. Hold on just a second. I don't, like, Sorry. Debbie Galani's family, they make pasta for their Christmas. Mm -hmm. And they have a, like how we have a pierogi day, they have a pasta making yeah. day. I always work by hand. All right. We've got just, these are just more common dispensers uh, that I didn't have room for on a big shelf. So they sit on the desk uh, or on the table next to my desk. This room also has our circuit breaker in it. So we've got this big steel panel on the wall, which is good for sticking magnets too. So those are there too. And the Pez clock I just got recently earlier this year. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know Gene Courtney, he makes these wooden cases here. These are fantastic. We've been buying them from him for about 10 years now. My wife will get one for me once or twice a year as a gift for Valentine's Day or my birthday or whatever. And we've got a lot of them now. But uh, we've got, I think Justin said, uh, real people. He calls that section. That's what I call them too. You know, So we, we start with presidents. We get into wrestlers and Kiss and then those biker guys and uh, Elvis and everything. So we got real people followed by uh, marketing pieces from stores and restaurants and stuff like that. And then a lot of holiday over here. I like the holiday Pez a lot. So we got Easter and Christmas and Halloween all with their own cases. You have to forgive the glare. Up top, just some stuff I didn't know where to put. So those are the brush buddies. Uh, we've got a couple fantasy Pez up there as well. And some autographed Pez. The ones with the sleeves out are all autographed. I'm just getting into that, but I think that's a lot of fun. It was really cool seeing Brian's presentation on that at Pez on the River this year. A lot of great information. Who signed your creature in the Black Lagoon? Is that what oh, Tom Browning? So the, uh, that one is signed by Doug Jones. He's oh, an American okay. actor. Do you know Doug Jones? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. So for those that don't know Doug, he plays all sorts of weird creatures in movies and TV. Uh, he's in the Star Trek Discovery right now. Yeah. And he was the fish man in the Shape of Water movie that came out a couple years ago. So if you guys saw that, yeah. I, mean, I think it won Best Picture, which is yeah, he's in, crazy. He's in Hellboy as a fish man. He's yes, in he is. He's Abe Sapien in Hellboy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Doug's really cool. I've met him a few times and he signed that for me. And he said it was the first time he's ever signed a Pez. That's I don't cool. think there are any Pez of characters that he's actually played, but that was the closest to it. So, yeah. so he's uh, before you get too far on your the yeah. lamp, you know who made that lamp? Who made that lampshade? Yeah, uh, Jerry Gomel made it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. We got that at Michigan Pez convention like two and a half years ago, something like that. Yeah, my, my son bid on that in the auction. So <laughs> I, I was bidding on it and uh, I stopped at a certain number and then he raised the paddle at like $60 higher than I wanted to go. And, uh, and we won it. And you know what? I'm so glad we did because it is really, really cool piece. I, I love really having awesome. that in here. And, you know, of course the money went to a great cause too. So, you know, it's another 60 bucks, no big deal. Yeah, I like it a lot. Cool. Uh, we've got just another one of these Ikea bookshelves. Up top, uh, some more of the emojis, a couple of Pez Visitor Center. Just some of these guys with the big body parts that don't fit on stands really easily. Hard to see behind them. Uh, we've got the Disney, uh, what are they called? The rail car things back there filled with Disney Pez. And then Pop Pez. Uh, Jessica said she's got every Pop Pez out there. I've got all but two. So I'm missing just the Mandalorian set that uh, just came out, which uh, John Laspina is getting that very, very shortly. And I'm on his uh, subscription plan. So I'll have them shortly too. And all of mine are unboxed, every single one of them, even the cool, expensive ones and the rare ones. Uh, you've probably noticed almost all my Pez is out of the packaging. I think they look better that way. And I'm not uh, collecting for money. Someone says, oh, I have the orange stem Greedo. No, I actually don't have that either. But if you get another one, uh, yeah, let me know. So I forgot about that one, so I guess I'm missing three. But, yeah, we got the rest of them. The football players don't look real pretty because they're all blocking each other. <laughs> but uh, as far as I'm concerned, those are the most boring pop pez. 
got a few of them up front so people can see them, but most of those guys are uh, sort of hidden. Did the turtle set a couple years ago, so we got those, and then other uh, kids cartoons and movies, and then we get into Valentine's Day. I love the new hearts. They face forward and they have feet, which is fantastic. Those old hearts are a pain in the butt, aren't they? And uh, I, I wish they would face forward, you know, so you didn't have to display them specially. I saw some other people displaying them today, and they looked so much nicer than mine. I'm going to have to figure something else out. And obviously, I've got about 50 of them, and eh, maybe 60 of them. And there's close to 300, I believe, so I'm missing a ton. And if I display them better, I'll be able to see which ones I've got easier. So that'll be a project for next year, probably. Got this vending machine last year. I like that. I need to get one of those big, wide red ones now that actually dispense the dispensers. This one, you know, does the candy packs. I really like it, though. It's in great shape. And these little fuzzy guys my wife liked, so <laughs> we've got them. <laughs> I'll show you Rachel's Pez collection, too, in a second. Oh, yeah. She's yeah. a collector now. She is. Barely, but yes. Uh, a couple years ago, I was in local magazine uh, advertising Michigan Pez convention, so that's that article all right we've got the space trooper and i was going to post about this uh too all right is the space trooper is it a guy in a big mechanical suit or is he a robot i want to hear you guys' thoughts oh that's a good poll question morgan we can poll yeah. people on that. i will i'll add that as a, right. i will add that as a poll question for uh for the happy hour so what is is he a guy <laughs> in a suit or a robot I like yeah that. i've heard people call him the space trooper robot i've heard it just called the space trooper before and he looks sort of robotic but he looks like he's got some sort of breathing apparatus and robots don't need to breathe so i'm thinking it's I, a dude i but... feel like this is going to be contentious this is going to be a contentious debate <laughs> so <laughs> I, I love this, uh, this big, huge space trooper display. Steve Ash made this. And I got it at Michigan Pez Convention last year in their charity auction. And so since I got this at a convention, I use it to display all my convention pieces. Nice. So if you look in here, we'll see. I've been to seven Pez conventions, not including smaller gatherings. So we've got a lot of different dispensers you know michigan three times and a couple other ones too and then a lot of people you know give away swag at conventions too and it's hard to display all the swag that you get but uh i display the the swag that are dispensers so mm. if you gave me a swag that's actually a dispenser it is displayed down here nice all right we're almost done here all right all right, these little guys up front, that's Rachel's Pez collection. <laughs> so uh, you can see two of them prominently display teeth. If you guys don't know, my wife's a dentist. She loves teeth. So she got this fantasy one from Angelo. It's like a disc man with big teeth. And then this one was a gift. It was a prize dispenser from Pez on the River last year. Uh, Josh Bales won it in one of the contests, and he gave it to Rachel. She made that one at Pez Visitor Center when we went a few years ago. And then in the Pezzy Awards, you know, Rachel won Enabler of the Year this year, so she's got that in her collection, too. Behind Rachel's stuff, we got the rest of my minis that are not the Japanese minis. I don't have all of them. I got to go look through that new checklist that Morgan put out a week ago or so. I looked at it online briefly and it looks really nice. And then these are sort of sci-fi stuff mixed with other stuff that I couldn't fit anywhere else. So we got Star Trek. We got Transformers, Pokemon, Wizard of Oz, DC Superheroes, E.T. And uh, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings stuff. Then I got this Walking Dead set uh, within the past year, I think. That's pretty cool. I love the display that came in. Those I left in there just yeah. because that display is so nice. But everything else I open. And that is my Pez room. Wow, wonderful. Are there any, any questions for John? Any other questions? I think we covered the ones that were coming in as they came in. Cool. 
Well, if you don't have any questions for John now, you can always message John uh, on on Facebook or or contact him through however you find him, however you know John. And uh, thanks, John. We appreciate that. That was a great tour. All right. Thanks for having me, you guys. Thanks, oh, John. Someone asked if you had a towel framed. A towel? No. Oh, it might have been the Steve Glue duffel bag. Maybe the duffel bag, or what was yeah, that? Yeah, that's uh, this right here. Yeah. This is a duffel bag that Steve Glue used to import or smuggle, you know, Pez dispensers from Europe into the United States in the 90s and early 2000s. He used roughly 30 different bags during his, you know, 11 years or so that he did that. And I've got one of them, you know, signed and framed here from him. And that's actually a picture of him signing it there, too. And then maybe above your vintage, you have that uh, cool piece up there. Maybe that's what they were asking about. Like, oh, right up here. Yeah, what's that? This right here, uh, I got from the charity auction in Michigan last year, I think. Uh, Lacey Ash uh, painted that. I thought it was really, really cool. I love Halloween. If you know me at all, uh, our whole family's at the Halloween. And of course, I love Pez. So I had to get... Uh, I had to get this as soon as I saw it. Nice. I don't remember what we bid on it, but uh, I knew I was going to get it as soon as I saw it. I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thanks, John. There are a few other questions coming in. I'm going to encourage those people to contact John directly. You can either do it, you can do it through the Zoom chat, even if you'd like, um, because I think you can answer quickly through there because we're a little over time. Uh, but thanks again, John. Yeah.